Okay, so today we're off to South Dakota, flying home for Thanksgiving. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna climb up to 12,000 feet. It's gonna be a fun flight. This time of year, it's always a little complicated because uh, the weather just doesn't doesn't usually cooperate too well. Snacks. Going to Jasper County, uh, Rensselaer, Indiana. No idea where that is or Terrain what it is. Terrain system test okay. It's where they have fuel for 350, they're 365 a gallon, and the weather's not too awful. So uh, we're gonna go give it a shot. We'll get some weather information here. Yeah, so right now we got a little precip there. Hopefully it's not gonna be a problem for icing. We'll see what it's like when we get there. And in worst case, have to go a little further south. But I wanted to go up there. Uh, it's where the fuel is real cheap. But as you can see, there's three, three, zero, all kinds of Okay, yeah, now we got a right cross Make sure you're ready. Uh, heading northbound. We're going to shoot the full VOR 23 approach in the line. Uh, Warrior 8234 Delta. Uh, 5125, 34 Delta. Traffic, 10 o'clock. Same altitude, zero miles. Okay, we got a good rate out of runway, we'll get the gear up. And everything still looks good. Go ahead and start turning here. On course, we'll go direct. Jasper County. It's actually by okay, we're gonna have traffic about hangers. four miles ahead and uh, we'll above us descending. It looks like coming exactly our way. Foreign cars, that's 25 miles. Okay, we got no sight. The 7-0-12 popsicle, Indiana Airport via direct, maintain 1-2-12,000. Go to the uh, Romeo Zulu Lima Airport via direct, 1-2-12,000, 7-0-12-pop. Okay, we're all set here, just kick back, relax, and uh, enjoy the flight, really. Beautiful day out here. You got some nice little clouds and snow capped mountains. Let's go ahead and uh, turn the fuel like it transfer out pumps in a on minute. Uh, cross suite at or below flight level 230. We'll transfer the fuel from the uh, tip tanks there, uh, the ox tanks, into the main tanks. I'm going to go ahead and dig out a snack here. Yeah, at 18, you go to Boston 128.32. Good day. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I go with the sun chips or mini pretzels? I'm feeling sun chips right now, but you let me know and I'll uh, I'll go with your feedback in the future. BRB. So much better. Put on Maroon 5 now. I'm gonna get the vibe going. No, I don't wanna know. No. But they like today. Right now, there's not a whole lot to do other than sit back and uh, just keep eye on it. Obviously, we're gonna get up here to the weather. We have to keep a real close eye on that, so uh, really just whenever we end up in the clouds here, we'll keep an eye on uh, icing and temperatures. And uh, if we start picking up some ice, we'll go down. That doesn't really help. We can always just uh, turn around and come right back this way and then figure it out from there. We I mean, see the sun real clearly up there, so it's a, a pretty thin layer, so I'm not really expecting much ice in this. 
Yeah, that's an ELT. So uh, we're flying around and monitor guard frequency, which is emergency frequency. Uh, so you hear things like uh, emergency locator transmitters, emergency transmissions, uh, you know, things like that. Center Bonanza 367 at Pop. Uh, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, we're picking up an ELT. Roger. Most of these are false alarms, it's a you know, hard landing, somebody bumps the switch or something like that. Uh, 26, but, you know, uh, just in case it is a real one, you know, we report it so that they can potentially go and, and find whoever's missing and whoever may have crashed. Coming up here on this, well, supposedly uh, light very light snow and a uh, mix of snow and rain, which could be kind of nasty, but um, so far we're not we're not getting anything. Right now we're showing negative three Celsius. In any case, at this speed, the total air temperature, even at that, is uh, one degree. So uh, we shouldn't be able to get any uh, icing early on the leading edge. Nonetheless, I think I'm going to chime in here and just ask if they have any pie reps. Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Remember 367 Hotel Papa, call you one, go ahead. Yeah, do you have any uh, icing pilot reports up ahead? Or uh, really any kind of pilot reports down the, down this low up ahead? I do not, sir. Nothing in that area and I don't, unfortunately, don't have anybody uh, at that altitude in that general area. Okay, thanks anyway. I'm going to go ahead and look at another glance at the uh, icing forecast that I was, I was looking at earlier. Let's see where those remind myself uh, what altitudes, what different altitudes look like at that point. 367 Hotel Papa, contact Cleveland Approach Control 118.15. 11815, 7 Hotel Pomp, good day. Good day. Sign my shoe and then call Cleveland. Cleveland Approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pomp for 12,000. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pomp, Cleveland Approach, coming on to 3019. 3019, do you have any uh, icing high reps up ahead? Uh, negative. Thanks. 7 Hotel Pomp, I had traffic uh, descending through 11, about 40 miles ahead. He said he had no icing. 7 Hotel Pomp, thank you. It looks like we are getting great. Bravo, Julie, to center maintain 2,700, county kind of 12 o'clock and 7 miles. See, now that's going away. So I'm thinking it's not that big of an issue right now. We got 53 minutes to go, we got 2 hours and 13 minutes of fuel, so we're doing good. Should be able to get into our destination, no problem. The winds are a lot stronger than advertised. We're getting a 40, 40 knot headwind right now. That's supposed to be about 15. Yes, these pilot reports up ahead still look good, so uh, shouldn't really have any trouble on the next leg. I think we'll uh, get up on the top. 4.9 climbing. Uh, one zero ten thousand. Uh, should be pretty much a, a clear shot the whole way. Hey, about another fifteen minutes, and we'll start our descent oh, here. Let me go ahead and get the weather now. Jasper County Airport automated weather observation. Okay, hey, so the weather's basically uh, the same as it was here. The winds uh, pretty calm out of the south. We got some uh, light rain and overcast. Or actually, I think now they were just calling it rain and uh, overcast clouds at 700 feet, we get under 250 feet, we need a mile visibility, we get all of that right now. Bonanza 7 Hotel Pomp, do you have any ride reports through the moderate precip or any uh, icing reports in there? Uh, stand by uh, United 626, Center 367 Hotel Papa, uh, the aircraft that I've had have gone right through everything in negative icing. Okay, thanks. So we got one hour and 38 minutes of fuel left, we got about 16 minutes to the airport, so we're doing good there. Shouldn't have any problem getting in. The approach gets us down to 250 feet, and the uh, last weather is calling it overcast 700. So uh, I think we are all set. Okay, so uh, after maps, once he clears us for the approach, we'll be able to go down to 2600. Uh, but really, we don't want to. We want to be at 2400 at Weirig, so we're just going to be like 
driving along if we actually get that load that soon, so that's why we're, we're still at 7,700 feet. Now we'll be on the ground about uh, 11 minutes, 12 minutes. Oh, crazy to be flying in rain at, uh, at seven or 8,000 feet in Illinois at the end of November. Normally this would just never work out because of, because of icing. Okay, hey, about another uh, two or three minutes we'll be further out of the rain. Kind of start to see there's some layering going on out here. And the static air temperature there is uh, above one. So now everything's saying that everything is above freezing. Uh, so we shouldn't have to worry about ice from here on in. Just a little bit of turbulence here for the last uh, couple minutes in the preset. November 367 Hotel Tampa cleared RNAV uh, GPS 18 approach to the Rensselaer Airport. Cleared RNAV 18 approach into uh, the airport from Oh wow, that's really pretty there. Be view in between layers. Like one of my favorite things about flying is uh, getting incredible views like that. Okay, yeah, perfect. We need 500 feet to be at uh, Weirig at 2400. Of course, as soon as we pass Jitby, then we can go down to 2400, but for now we can only go down to 2600. Uh, we won't reach that by Jitby, of course, by design. And, uh, just, yeah, this is this is going to work out really nicely. Here's Jitby in five seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and put down 2400, and we just need to be at that prior to Weirig, and then we'll be all set. Flying right on the uh, gear speed. We don't really want to put the gear out that quite that fast, so we'll slow down a little bit. That's why we want to get to Weirig, so we level off for just a, just long enough to slow down a few knots, put the gear and flaps down, and then uh, head on in. So the runway is about 4,000 feet here, so we got plenty of room. And really, uh, the fuel pumps looks like are way down at the other end, so we'll want to use the whole thing anyhow. Okay, and so we're good here because we're below the glide slope. Speed's good. If, however, we get to 950, 948, 948 feet, and we can't see the runway uh, or any of the uh, run any part of the runway environment, we continue to or go straight ahead 2,600 feet and uh, hold it whipple. Okay, so we're just getting onto the glide slope there. Go ahead and put the gear down. Throw in a notch of flap. Okay, 500 feet above minimums. So we should be close here to, to breaking out. Almost start to see the ground. Okay, there we go. On this side, it, it just looks super disorienting. It's like a uh, cloud field, so you just look like just blurs of lines. But we can see the ground over there. Go down another uh, 300 feet. There's the runway. We're landing. And Jasper County traffic in the 7 Hotel Pampa short final runway 18 Jasper County. It's a nice change of pace from the uh, tops of clouds all day. As much as I love flying in minimums, the clouds, and flying on minimums. top of the clouds, uh, this is is a pretty nice view. Gears down, coming over the threshold, we'll pull the power off, and we'll float just a tiny bit, but that's okay to do. Okay, there we go. Nice and smooth. Right on the center line. I'll just roll to the end. Chicago Center, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pampa. Chicago Center, Bonanza. And it looks like we're just going to have to call him on the phone. Okay, so here's Av Gas under low lead. Not the other one, which is Jet A. That would be make for a very bad holiday. Everything looks 
good. We got 60 knots almost there. We'll rotate about 70. Oh, shit. <laughs> Apparently a little cubby compartment decided to open up and spill everything out. I don't know why or how that's even possible, but uh, that happened. But you can't let things like that distract you while you're flying. We just gotta fly the airplane, maintain a runway heading to 1100 feet, and then we'll uh, turn left on course up to 4000. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of in between layers here at uh, about 6000. And it's still six degrees outside, so that's nice. Hopefully it stays that way. So we're clearly on top for the rest of the way or something. This is where things get complicated because it gets dark out, you can't see, you gotta shine a light out just to see if there's ice. Um, you can't see if you're in between layers or where layers are, where tops are, where bases are. You're just kind of blind. That's why I was really hoping to get out of here a little sooner, but that just didn't happen today. And now we just, uh, we wait. We know there's warmer air below, because we just saw that. Uh, so we look for, for issues here, uh, you know, hopefully find a layer or something. Ideally we're going to just bust out of this and uh, it'll be clear on top. I don't know, we'll find out. Thunder Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, request 10,000. 7 Hotel Papa, climb and maintain 10,000. Climb and maintain 10,000, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, thank you. So pretty out there. The tops are getting a little closer to where we're at. Chicago Thunder Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, request 12,000. 7 Hotel Papa, we're getting a light clear, can we get 12,000? Uh, no, I won't have that for you in about uh, 6 or 8 minutes, you got a string of O'Hare aircraft coming overhead. Can we get it on a heading? Turn left heading of a 210. Uh, when you're established on a 210 heading, climb and maintain 12,000. Okay, established on, uh, was, uh, sorry, was that 210? Uh, then climb and maintain 12,000 to the right above. Roger that, thank you. Thank you. start down for a while yet. We'll do it about uh, 10 miles out from Sissid. That's going to be six, so really like four out from Docks too. Okay, this is going to be a fun, fun approach. Sky condition overcast, 2,400. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa maintained 4,000 until uh, established on a published portion of the approach. Third straight in RNAV runway 31 approach. Aberdeen Airport. 4,000 until established, cleared straight in, RNAV 3-1 approach into Aberdeen, 7 Hotel Papa. Okay, there's the gear. Turn the notch and flaps, disable the autopilot. Okay, so we're at 4,000. And now we are going down. Love it. Finance 7 Hotel Papa, change to advisory frequency is approved your downtown cancellation on this frequency. Change to advisory 7 Hotel Papa, on the ground. Question 7. We are doing fantastic right now. We're going to hit the side at 3000, so we'll speed that up just a little bit. And uh, here's the turn for on the final approach course. Okay, the missed approach will be straight ahead, also to 3,000. Really, 3,000 is the key number uh, for the moment. Okay, the tops are at 5,000. Turn those strips off because those are awfully distracting. Okay, I got one notch of flaps in, gears down, props 2500, so that's good for a go around. And uh, we need just a tiny bit steeper uh, descent, ideally. Okay, 
so this odd, oh, we can go down to 3,000 after that, we can go down to 2180 unless we're on the glide slope, but uh, really if we're at 3,000 it's this odd. Uh, that should put us right on the glide slope, got ground contact already. So uh, there's the outer marker on the ILS and there's the runway, 3,600. And uh, doesn't look like we got any ice. A trace run, no. Okay, but now we can go down. We can continue on down. Aberdeen traffic Bonanza 7 Hotel Pomp is about a 5 mile final runway 31 Aberdeen. Minneapolis Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompa. That's a 367 Hotel Papa, go ahead. Yeah, 367 Hotel Papa, we'll cancel IFR. The tops were 5,000, the bases are 3,500 MSL. We've got Trace Rhyme. That's a 367 Hotel Papa, IFR cancellation receipt. Thanks for the port. Have a good night. Good night. Go ahead and throw in the last notch of flaps. It's not really going to matter with the uh, amount of ice that we got. Minimums. Minimums. That was the LNAV minimum. We could actually go down. LB 1823, uh, contact Salt Lake Center, 126.85. 140 feet beyond that. And Aberdeen traffic been in the 7 Hotel Pump, short final runway 31, Aberdeen. Okay, landing gear's down. It's good, everything else is good. Flaps up, count flaps open, uh, trim's already, you know, he's off. Set this back to 1200, but where I forget. I said 9.30, and we'll exit the runway at uh, 9.29.